Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw Mission San Miguel. I take two fingers on the left and I put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw a slightly wavy wavy line all the way across to the right hand side off the page. I come about right here and I put another dot and from that dot I'm going to draw a straight diagonal down on the left, come back to the dot, straight diagonal down on the right. Right above the first dot I put another dot and from that dot I draw a wavy 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 line down on the left connect and a wavy 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 line down connect on the right. I come inside and I draw a straight line, straight line, straight line connect on the left, straight line, straight line, straight line connect on the left. Right here in the center I go straight line, straight line, straight line connect and on the right I draw a straight line, straight line, straight line connect and one more straight line, straight line, connect. Now I'm going to draw curve lines and jump over. Curve line, jump over, curve line, jump over, curve line, jump over. Now the right side, curve line, jump over, curve lines, jump over, curve line, connect. I go back to the left and I draw a straight line down on the left and I come on the right and draw a straight line down on the right. I come back to the very top and I draw one, two straight lines. Now I come over here on the left and I'm going to draw a curved line out, connect on the left and a curved line out, connect on the right. I come back down to the left and I'm going to draw a slightly wavy wavy line all the way to the end of my paper and then I'm going to come about this far and I'm going to draw curved lines back all the way towards this connection there. I come inside and I draw more curved lines, keep going and if you can fit one more inside, one more curved line inside, keep going. Now I flip over on the right hand side, a little bit further down, I'm going to draw a straight line across, off the page, come down a little bit and now I'm going to do a wavy line all the way across. Okay, now I come down to this section and I'm going to draw a straight diagonal out on the left and a straight diagonal out on the right. Come back to the left and connect the two with a straight line. Right about here I'm just going to draw a curved line out, <coughs> excuse me, straight line all the way towards the right. I come back up and I'm going to draw curved line down and straight line across all the way over here on the left. Okay, on this point right here I'm going to draw a straight line across again towards the left and on this part right here on the diagonal I'm going to draw a straight line across on the right. I am now ready to add my decorations. So the first thing I'm going to do is draw a rectangle. One, two, three, four straight lines. Draw another one inside. Straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. I come directly down and I'm going to draw one, two, three straight lines. And now I'm going to come up to almost the top and I'm going to draw a wavy, wavy, wavy line all the way down. Come back up, wavy, wavy, wavy line all the way down, connect. And at the bottom I put one, two straight lines. 
I come back up on the right and I draw a wavy, wavy, wavy line all the way down. Come back up, wavy, wavy, wavy line all the way down. Connect in one, two straight lines. I come inside this rectangle and I draw one, two, three straight lines. I draw a straight line down the center. Now I'm going to draw a curve line, curve line, jump over. This is real little, but you can see it. One, two straight lines, curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line. We're making decorations, curve line, curve line, connect. This will show up better when we start coloring. I come over here on the left hand side. I'm going to do a trapezoid upside down. So I go straight diagonal, straight diagonal on the right, connect. Straight diagonal on the left, straight diagonal on the right, connect with a straight line and one little one, straight diagonal on the left, straight line across, straight diagonal down. Now these are going to have curve line, curve line, curve line, connect, curve line, curve line, curve line, connect. If you can fit another one, curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, connect, curve line, connect. Curve line connect and on the baby one we'll just do one curve line curve line connect okay now we are going to fill these in with straight lines this is your tile roof yes it takes a long time to do this but in order for it to look somewhat authentic you want to do the details as you see them so go all the way across connect your up swings where they happen. Keep going. This is all roof. Okay. And now we're going to do arches. We are going to start on the left and you're going to go straight line, curve line over and bam, it crashes into the plant. Don't draw through it. Now come over and go in between the plants and draw another. These are overlaps. Straight line up, curve line, and then bam, it crashes. Keep going. Now I'm going to have this one go over. Some of them will fit, like that one fit. Some of them won't. Bam, but don't draw through your drawing. Keep going until you have a series of archways. Now just come back over and do them again. Draw little curved lines all the way, if you can. Keep going. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay, over here on this space, I'm going to just draw some wavy, wavy lines, connect, and an overlap, wavy, wavy line, connect, and I'm going to add a curved line, curved line, a curved line, curved line. Okay. Now I come back to finish this off and I just draw curved lines all the way across. Keep going and connect. Now the facade, that means the front of this one is a little torn up a little bit with cracks. So I'm just going to put some wavy lines wherever and we'll figure that out once we start coloring. I think that's everything. Let's see how we're going to color. Okay, we're ready to color. If you have a lot of different colored browns, I would suggest you go pull all of them. But if you don't, you can just use one color brown for the whole entire project. You know your roof is going to be all brown. And if you have a red, you might want to double color with some red to give it that brick look. This is all brown or reddish brown or whatever brown you have and it works best if you go through I know it takes a long time but if you color each section of the tiles all the way across so this is all browns okay this section over here this is brown and the background of the doors this is brown the windows are brown behind your archways is brown. These are all brown, shadowed, all the way across. Now you can have a lot of fun coloring this one if you want. 
because there's a lot going on. Now, I had a different color. I have uh, peach, so I did my planter's peach. And I came back and got a darker brown for my tree trunks. These are trunks, tree trunks. And also for this section of grounds. Now the entire mission is kind of a beigey white, but every once in a while it'll have some discoloration. So I just used my apricot, or you can use a brown, just on these squiggles. I did not color the whole entire mission um, a, a white color. I just came in, see I'm going up, down, up, down on this, up, down, up, down. Just a little bit of color, just some lines, not solid, because that's kind of the way this mission is set up. Then you've got your pathways, which can be different colored browns. Everything is kind of a brown, beige, pinky look. So you can use all of these. Notice I'm doing all my browns first. Okay, now I can come back in and I can use my greens. So if you've got different color greens, you can do some of your shrubbery and your trees. Different color greens. The big tall bush evergreens it looks like. These should be dark, dark green. But the rest of these greens you can kind of have fun with and make them any color greens that you would like. Okay? So since this is all so brown, brown, beige, brown, a little bit of green, I came in and I did my sky, kind of a purple sky for fun, just to kind of break up all those browns. Okay? And I did my door, kind of a reddish, brownish, mahogany look if you have it just again to break up your color so I just did these little squiggles okay I think it's easier for me to show you the finished one but you get the general idea I hope this one's got a lot of coloring okay let's see what it looks like all colored in here's my mission San Miguel all colored in as you can see, there's a lot of greenery, also a lot of pinks and beiges. It's a really nice one. Okay, bye-bye.